Hi, boys and girls. I know you don't believe it, but this is our next to the last week of summer reading. That means next week will be our last week, okay? But this one is going to be the funnest ever, I promise. I'm going to be reading a little book online about a giraffe, and it is hilarious. But it's true facts about giraffes. And you're going to see a little baby who was first born and all the things that he learns as a baby giraffe. And giraffes are truly the tallest animals on earth. And just so you know, giraffes are first, elephants second, tallest, and third is the ostrich. So giraffes are, can be 14 feet tall, and that's because they have their long neck and they have to reach to get their leaves to eat. And then elephants can be 13 feet tall, wow. <laughs> mostly African elephants and then third is our ostrich who can be 10 feet tall he grows very very tall okay so we're gonna make a giraffe and an ostrich today and you get a little mask that's already made for you guys and our giraffe is made on a canvas board okay this is a board, and we painted the sky background for you. We're putting them on a blue background, so I hope you love it. And you're going to have a bag that looks like this inside your uh, craft bag, okay? It's all felt, just like this. And these are the felt pieces that you have, okay? So... They're like this, and I'm just going to lay them out, okay, so I can see them real good and see what go, what in the world goes where, okay? Now, here goes. I have little pieces, long pieces. You can imagine what they're for, huh? But I made mine look more like a real giraffe instead of this make-believe one. But uh, to me, it's more real. But anyway, we have dots everywhere. You know where those go. We have eyes, okay. Whoa, horsey, about lost one. Okay, and we have the neck, and we have the head, and we have the little muzzle thing right here. Okay, that's his big, big, big smile. Now, uh, we're going to be using our markers today to finish his smile, and we're going to be using our markers on our ostrich, okay? And that's about all the drawing things you're going to need, except if you want to draw your giraffe. It's right there, okay? Now, um, this is a little uh, glimpse of all of, the an all of the animals that live in Australia and that's where the giraffe that we're drawing lives is in Australia there are many 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 giraffes and many cool animals that live out there on the tundra in Australia because that's where their plants are that they need to eat so let's get moving okay now this is cool it's felt it has adhesive on the back, so you don't need glue. So, you just take your little fingernails and you peel off your adhesive, okay? Get a grip on it. <laughs> it's hard for Miss Terry, too, with her nails. But, you're gonna peel it off, take it apart, like that, yay! And we're gonna start with the neck, okay? Now, it's very sticky, so you've got to put it down in the middle, and you have to put it down at the bottom, okay? So be super careful, because I'm scared you'll take the blue paint off if you don't get it real straight. And I can't see what I'm doing, so I hope I'm straight. Now, there's the neck. Can you tell that's going to be a giraffe neck? <laughs> well, it is. Now, the next part we have is our muzzle. That's his muzzle, and that's his uh, smile, and his two giant nostrils, okay? 
So we have two giant nostrils. And I'm going to peel it apart just like this. Okay. I'm going to take it all apart. And I'm going to put it so it laps over a little bit. See? It's going to kind of lap over the neck a tiny bit. Not a lot. Oh, this sticks so good. And I hope he looks good. Okay. Now, <clears throat> to do this one, uh-oh, I should have left some up. We are going to put the head under. Hey, don't do what I did. Leave part of it up, okay? Because I'm having to peel some, and it's super, super hard. Okay? It didn't take the paint off, though. Okay. Just peel... Yeah, just leave about that much up, but it really wants to go down. Um, okay, so peel <clears throat> your head. Use your fingernails. <laughs> now, here's the head that's going to go at the top. Just like that. And it's going to go a little under. Let's see how much under. About that much. And there's his head. Now, we're going to start putting pieces on him. I hope he looks like a giraffe. How about the nostrils first? So, peel off your nostrils. And you got to get between that brown paper. On back of the nostrils, it's sort of a brownish paper, not white. So, I'm going to put one on this side for one giant nostril. And one on this side for another giant nostril. Okay, almost got it. Trying to get the brown paper with this fingernail. It's really hard. Okay, got it. Now, peel it off. Another giant nostril. Now, this is weird because I'm doing this first. <laughs> okay. There we go. Two giant nostrils. I'm doing this upside down too, guys. Now, I'm going to get a black our brown marker. Maybe I'll just try this brown. See if it's dark enough. If not, I'll try the black. And we're going to make a big smile. Because he has a big smile. Okay. There's a big smile for your giraffe. Now, eyes. I told you one little story. We need a drop of your glue. Okay. So, one little drop of glue. I do think the glue stick will work on this too. So, now, we're going to make the eyes right here. And they're kind of close together, guys. And right here. Okay? Our eyes are a little bit smaller than his. But I think they're all size. They came in all sizes, okay? There's one eye. There's another eye. Okay. Are you ready to keep... Ooh, he's almost looking like an octopus now, isn't he? <laughs> now, we're going to keep on going because we have our little horns. And he does have horns that start growing when he's just a little uh, young one. Young... Uh, Thing. So we're going to put the horns kind of on top of his head. One on that side and one on this side. Okay. See? Two orange horns. Okay. And on top of his horns, we're going to put the the little, it, um, he almost looks like he's wearing antennas, but they're brown little dots at the top of his horn. 
that stand out, okay? And he does use his horns, and he plays a lot with his horns with his giraffe friends. And they play games together. So giraffes have a lot of fun. Okay, I'm gonna put that right on top of the top. And right on top of this top. Lord. Okay, here we go. And there I have the antennas. Now he's going to have dots all over his body. Are y'all ready? Okay. We've got dots left. We've got a little bit of trash that will keep out of the way. Now bring all your dots over here. Now you're going to be putting them in different places. And they were uh, really painting this, but we're making ours out of felt. So. We're going to be peeling these dots, okay? Hopefully. <laughs> Once you learn how to get them done, they're good, okay? So we're going to put them at the side of his head. We're going to put some all over his neck in a minute. Okay. And we're going to put one up in his forehead. Okay. And one on each side. Then we're going to have some for his neck. Hang on. I got an idea just then that we're going to try for his eyes. I'm going to make his eyes a little different in a second. Sometimes I just get ideas all of a sudden. Okay. Here we go. Put one over here. Maybe I sh that might not fit, huh? Think so? Seems like one should be in the middle to me. there in the middle and still on the sides okay now maybe I can fit one on one side now yay I'm getting good at it now that I'm almost finished here's another one now we're gonna go down to his neck okay here we go we're gonna put some giraffe circles around and down his neck Hang on. I'm going to get it. I promise. Oh, that's better. Okay. Got it. Okay. So, let's just put some, like, all around his neck. And yours is not going to look just like this one. Okay, guys? But I am going to change the eyes. I'm going to show y'all how in just a second. put too many on the top of his head <laughs> okay so here's his giraffe things and I'm gonna do this a little differently y'all wanna watch me I've just got super ideas here okay I'm gonna get my paint okay and I'm gonna get a little brush and I gave y'all an extra little brush to use last week, okay? Now, if you want to do this, you can. I just thought of this. Okay, but wet your brush, and I am going to mix, mix, mix. I'm going to mix for a few minutes, because I want this white to really not all the way soak in this felt, okay? So, I'm going to mix for quite a minute, okay? Making lots of good white. Y'all see what I'm doing? I'm mixing, 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 mixing. 
Somebody was super neat in their paints, weren't they? Okay, so we're mixing up. Okay, I'm going to make two giant eyes with my white paint. And you might want to do this and you might not. Okay. I may just completely mess this up. <laughs> but I'm going to keep getting more white paint till it looks really, really white. Okay, guys? I'm sorry I'm having to mix so much, but I really want it to work. I'm mixing, mixing, mixing. And you may have to go over it several times, okay? Just to let it look really, really white. Okay, every time I get more paint, guys, I get a little bit more water on my brush, okay? But this is a super good, your brush that I gave you, is really good at mixing. That's why I put those in there. Okay, we just about got it. And I've got to do one more, so hang in there with me. But I'm getting really good paint now. See, this is gonna be one eye. Oop. Good, now I'm gonna make another big eye. be doing good if I could get both of my eyes the same size. I have issues with that. <laughs> you may too. Kind of looking pointed now. Isn't it? It's really different painting on felt, guys. I gotta make it bigger, Miss Terry. Okay, I'm still mixing every time I get paint. Okay. Am I about to get it the same? Stay with me. Don't lose interest. <laughs> Here we go. How's that? Are those about the same? looks whiter. Maybe I'll put more white in the other one. How about that? Ooh, yeah. There's more white. Mix, mix, mix. I'm sorry this took so long. I didn't mean for it to. Those look pretty good. Okay, now we're gonna make two big black eyes in the middle. So that means we need to mix the black. I have a hard time telling the purple and the black. Maybe this is black. <laughs> you have to start mixing to find out. Okay, water several times. It's just gonna be a little eyeball in there, okay guys? Well, it's actually a big eyeball, isn't it? Here we go. We're gonna do this. We are doing it. You know what? Put one foot in front of the other and keep trying to make things better. That's what Mystery does. Okay, here we go. A giant black eyeball. Just as y'all were giving up on Miss Terry, made a great eyeball. 
Here we go. I think that looks better. Now, let me mix another minute, guys, okay? Because I'm going to make it a little blacker. Didn't put any more water in it because I want it to be dark black. You see what I'm doing? Let's see? I want it to be dark, dark, dark black. Let me get some more right here. have to make it dark and you have to mix it so that it doesn't mix with that white. Okay? So, paint around a minute. There! Two giant giraffe eyes. And I wish I could move this one. Whoa, horsey. Why'd I do that? Okay. kind of want to move those dots for some reason. Um, right there maybe? And another one down here. How about that? That's your giraffe. Okay? Now, here's the issue. We are going to make some watercolor leaves. Okay? Watercolor leaves. And do you see they're up there around him? because he's way up there by the trees and I'm gonna use my dark dark green okay first I'm gonna get my water mixed y'all see what I'm doing I'm getting my water mixed mix it mix it mix it see now I couldn't do the leaves for you guys because you've got your horns and everything that are gonna be all in the way aren't they so, we're coming up here, and we're making two big leaves just right on top. They're super easy. See that? And I'm just going to keep mixing and make it a little darker. Even the dark green doesn't seem dark when it goes on top of the blue, does it? Now, kind of mix it like this. There's one green leaf. This is from the tree, okay? So you can really arrange them like you want to. You don't have to do what I'm doing. I'm just gonna make sure we know these are leaves. And that he's way up there so he can reach the leaves. See, this, this tells us how tall he is. So he can reach leaves in a tree. He's getting ready to eat. Okay, so Mr. is just really not even looking at the picture. See what I'm doing? I'm just doing my own thing here with the leaves. That's so much fun though. I hope you like making leaves. And here's another big one right there. How about that? Maybe a half size one. More water. More mix. <laughs> this is going to be a half size one. Oh, I love that. Okay. Now, you may want some leaves in the middle. That's a good idea. Y'all be patient with this, Terry. This one, when you're painting on your own, it takes a little bit more time. But it's so creative, isn't it? It's more of an expression of what you're thinking in your head, right? So he's standing right under a tree. That's the idea. And all those leaves are right up above his head. Y'all get it? Okay, so I'm going to start on this side first and make the half leaf. And of course, I don't know why I'm so uniform, 
but the other side does not have, they don't have to look the same, okay? They do not have to look the same. Miss Terry just, I always do the same. I'm just such a consistent, old-fashioned person. <laughs> I just love these leaves. He's under this tree. And he is really excited about having his lunch today. Maybe this is the little giraffe in our story. And he finally got tall enough to reach the leaves by himself. Huh. go all the way across. How about that? Now, if you have your own ideas for the leaves, I think he's cute as a bug. And he's standing under a tree. And that's just his head and a silly looking giraffe, huh? <laughs> you have to know what a giraffe looks like to look at him. Now, I'm going to put him right there. Don't forget your little giraffe mask is free. And it's already made. It was so hard to cut out, we had to go ahead and make it. Now, second tallest animal in the tundra. Well, third, I'm sorry, I said that wrong. Now, is an ostrich. Now, I'm gonna bring this down. And if I could move the camera over to that side of the room, we've already made some. But I just want you to watch how, it's how this is made. I'm going to move the paints out of the way. Okay. Because we're not going to need them. You're going to need your markers. Okay. So you're going to need all different colors. And I have a little girl that made a pink and a red one. And we've just got so many different colors we can use. But if you want to first you can color his mouth okay just with your orange markers that i gave you and if you want to paint it with your paints that's cool too whatever you like i just thought it'd be fun what am i on <laughs> i thought it might be fun to um uh, use markers for a change how about that and um I want to show you some on back because there's lots of ideas to do it. You can do it your own way. You can do it your own colors. Like when you're painting or drawing or coloring, always use your own ideas. You don't have to do things like go straight by the book, okay? I'm really bad about that. I go straight by the book because it's just the, all, the way I have taught for so many years. And I didn't mean to, it's just that when you're teaching school, they have to learn certain skills in a certain way. And you get, you get to where that's the way your mind thinks. <laughs> but I'm trying to get y'all to be a little bit more creative and use your own colors. Now, that's the orange beak of the big giant ostrich. And if you want to, you can put his big nostrils. Because we have a good black, don't we? Thing is making them the same size. I have issues with that, don't I? Now, I'm gonna kinda do some of their ideas, guys. But when you make this, you've gotta make lines going straight up like this, okay? Because there's no head up there. This guy is all hair. He is hairy and he's colorful and he's made up, okay? He's hairy and he's colorful and he's all made up. So just start drawing your lines. I don't want to go too fast because I want it to look good. But he's made of stringy, colorful lines. Okay? See? 
Now, let's pick another color. How about some pink? Now, um, he looks like he's a girl, but actually, truthfully, guys, the girls and the boys, and you don't have to do this part. I just wanted to. <laughs> now, since he's going to be crazy colorful, if you want to pick a color to go around the eyes, you're perfectly welcome. Now, I'm going to make some pink by the green. Just make your lines like this. See, you're actually making his head. Okay? That's what you're doing with these lines. Okay? You're just kind of doing your own thing and you're making long lines. Okay? And if you go back and do them a little bit different, that's okay too. Because this is just a hairy monster. <laughs> no. He's an ostrich. I'm sorry. I couldn't help but say that. Now, I'm just going to go up and down, putting some blue in the middle. We're going to let that be his middle color. And like I said, I'm not doing it just like the picture. I'm trying not to anyway. Sometimes I do. See, just make it look like long hair. Hair coming up out of there. I like it to look hairy. My hairs get kind of curly to yours. <laughs> okay, now we're going for, let's see, how about some more orange beside the pink. I think I'm missing my purple. <clears throat> Things get do get mixed up around here. Maybe there is no purple. Mm. <laughs> I really thought there was one. Anyway, are y'all ready? I'm going to make some purple, uh, orange lines beside the pink. I'm all the way at the end of the paper, huh? And make the orange at the bottom. Okay. They're kind of long, long in different colors. So, we're going to make the orange lines coming out. Thank y'all for watching me. I think that uh, if you want to, you can do this one with me. I mean, art, if that's more fun for you, whatever you like to do. Now, I just keep on changing colors. Okay, guys, I'm going back with the green. Now, I'm going back with green on this side. Mine has long hair, doesn't it? <laughs> if you want to do a short haired one, that's cool too. Whatever you like. Okay? But see, it's starting to show his head. In it. Isn't that cool? Okay, I really want to turn it around because I am so upside down. Okay, now I'm going back with pink. Stay over there. Got trash everywhere, guys. One thing is, Clean up good, okay? Because you want your parents to let you do things like this. Okay. So, I'm going to try to get his head kind of rounded now. Okay. Sometimes I go the same direction. I can't get inside the little parts. Okay, a little bit over here. I'm getting a little bit shorter for his cheek area. See? Maybe. <laughs> Never know how it's gonna turn out, do you? Where am I? A little bit more? And 
Now we are about ready for a new color. Hey, I haven't done yellow. That's cool. Let's do some yellow. He is a colorful dude. Okay, here we go. Doing some yellow. Okay, now I am going to pick two more colors. They went kind of short under him, so I'm not as good as them, that's for sure. A little bit of green again. <laughs> and get a little bit shorter with the green. Okay, because we're about to make a long, you know, an ostrich also has a long neck. So he can reach up tall and get things to eat, too. Okay, let's go with our blue in the middle like we did before. Hairy, hairy, hairy. Guess what we're ready for? We are ready for the long, long neck. Here it goes first part of the neck. Now, I've had some little girls that did it like this and it was really cute, okay? So, if you want to do this, you can do this. They just made little short lines just under the blue. Then, they picked another color. Let's just go with red. I like pink and red together. Guys, I forgot about red. Sorry about that. Forgot all about red. Sure did. Going with yellow. Oh, turned him around. Sorry, guys. Here he is. <laughs> I'll do it in a minute, won't I? And I'm going to go with blue again or green again. Time for blue. Until I get to the bottom of the page. See? Now I'm going to go with green. There. And I can do orange and green. I haven't done it in a while. Should do more red. So people look like the bottom of them is Christmas, huh? Now, here is your ostrich. Now, I love him. And you can do him your own way if you want to. You don't have to do him like I did. Now, your extra papers. I want you to really, really look at it. Okay? Because I think it's some fun things you'll like to do. You can draw a giraffe and go right by that one. I put a big one in there and put the tree that he likes to eat from and you can color it. Those are just crayons, aren't they? And these are a frilled neck lizard. So he just puts his neck out. Of course he changes colors, doesn't he? A rum bat. Isn't that cool? A red bat spider. So that little part is red. The rest of this spider in Australia is black. A brown snake. We know what color that'll be. A bandicoot. Lord, I never heard of him before. A dingo is sort of like a puppy dog, but I wouldn't get, I'm not sure if they're gentle or not. A kangaroo, and we know about him. And a Tasmanian devil. Remember, he's on a cartoon somewhere. Isn't that cool? Oh, uh, Ekin. Echidna? He looks like a porcupine. I think they should call him a porcupine. But, okay. And a fruit bat. I guess you know that that means he only eats fruit. Now, this is a possum. 
think I skipped one. Oh, a little koala bear. I love them. They're so cute. They can climb up trees. And a possum. We have those, don't we? A wombat. He's a cute, cute little bear looking animal. A platypus. Cool, isn't he cute? They have really cute things. Now, I just have some little animals that are colored. I thought you may need to look at them. Okay, and you just count them. Now, this is an animal puzzle, and it also has different counting things at the bottom. Two, four, six, eight. Counting by twos, but you can cut him apart and put him back together. The same thing with him. And this one that I call a porcupine. <laughs> and fun stuff with a kangaroo. So, you guys, I know I put a little bit too much in these papers, but there was so much stuff to have fun with. I could not help myself. So, I hope you guys have a lot of fun. Sorry about that microphone. And um, remember to clean up. That's what Miss Terry's fixing to do after you do your art projects. One more week next week. No, this is the last week. I'm so sad. This is next week. It is the last week. Okay? So, have fun. And hopefully, I'll see you for art classes in September. The first week of September. So, you'll be signing up in August. Thank you. Bye-bye.